So today we're going to be talking about the tribe of Naphtali, right? Continuing the trail of the raising up the heads. You know, it's funny, some people are still looking at us confused, you know? Lying in wait, raising up their heads, chassis. season. But like I said, everything is going to make sense in chassis, season, man. You know, because like I was telling the brother, some of you brothers don't need prayers, all right? You need an ass whooping, man. And that's facts because the woman that had the issue of blood, Yahweh Shai didn't beat the spirit that was afflicting her out. He prayed for her, he healed her, you know? But then when he went to the temple now, what did he do to those guys? He whipped them, he whipped them with a kuboku. Beat their ass because they didn't need prayers. You know what I'm trying to say? They didn't say, oh, let's pray for those brothers. Let's pray for them. Nah. Sometimes Jake needs an ass whooping, man. That's what he needs. Jake don't always need prayers, you know. And also, doesn't it say in Matthew, uh, which one is it? Is it Matthew 7 about the prayer? Matthew 6. Or Matthew 6. Yeah, Matthew 6 and 9, right? Yeah, Matthew 6. It says, use not vain repetitions. And it says, let thy words be few, bruv. So that means when you're praying, it has to be structured and it has to be important, man. Yeah, you can't just get up and just start praying over some dumb shit that can only be killed, you know, by tying cords together and brutalizing your ass. Because that's really what you brothers need, man. You need some brutality, all right? According to the law in Deuteronomy, right? 25, that's what you need, man. Okay, you don't need, the, you don't have to pray every time for a brother. Sometimes brothers just need to get checked. That's what they need. And that's what the Most High is bringing, right? So yeah, hey, before I start, I want to talk about that brother that came last week, all right? Just to show you guys that are watching and have been paying attention that the new wine is not a gimmick. And through the spirit, we're the only camp 
okay? I can proudly say that we're the only camp in all Israel that can actually tell you what tribe you're from. And that's facts. Because how, how else are you gonna find out what tribe you are? And the proof is in the pudding because the brother that came last week, he said that he's from the tribe of Benjamin. True. Yes, brother, brother. You wanna ask a question? Not about scripture. Okay. About you guys. So who, who are you? I'm an Israelite. Okay. Like yeah, wait, where are you originally from? Yeah. Where? No, no, I'm saying like your background. Like I'm originally from Ghana. Oh, okay. Jamaica. Oh, okay. you're from Jamaica. Oh, okay. No, so no, like what what kind Benjamin. of Oh Benjamin. Because today we're talking about the tribe of Zebulon. Okay. Now the Zebulon. Now the tribe of Zebulon, they're known to be the masters of sea. Like basically they like discover new lands and basically seafarer tribe. Because the tribe of Zebulon, when you read Genesis, I know you don't want to get into the scripture, but when you read Genesis 49. Yeah. Jacob blessed all his 12 sons but when it came to Zebulon he says specifically that Zebulon shall be for a haven of ships yeah. so like when you go to the coastline you know the coast coastal like the countries with like nice holiday resorts that's where you're gonna find Zebulon and also Zebulon will be knowledgeable at sea and you say you're from a tribe of Benjamin but are you 100% sure you're from the tribe of Benjamin? But he's not from the tribe of Benjamin, okay? And we're gonna show you why. All right, let me get that board real quick. Let me do a quick demonstration. Yeah, just hold that book for me. Let me get the board, man. Break down why the brother's from the tribe of Zebulon. Yeah, you might need a new board, brother. Yeah, man, we're, com we're coming to the end of the ministry, bro. You see that? The most high is like... <laughs> The board is hey, the board has had it, bro. He's like, how, 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 how much longer have we got to teach these knuckle headed niggas, man? Not long, you know, not long. Soon it's gonna be the um, this is this is basically like your mock exam. This is like your mock. We're, we're training you, we're teaching you, and then soon we're gonna come with whips in our hands. And the ones of you that are supposed to, you know, get destroyed or put to death, you're gonna receive that as well, okay? So don't say you didn't see us. Right, so uh, concerning the tribe of Zebulon, all right? Because that's what we're out here for, raising up the heads, right? right. So we've got to go into it. Concerning the tribe. And I had a feeling that guy was from the tribe of Zebulon as well, you know? I thought, why would you come? Because you remember, based on what we've seen so far, yep. when we, if we, break, we break down the, when did the, the, the Asha break down, the lady that claimed that she was from Asher before that came. So that was the confirmation that she's an Asherite, right? And at the same time, another girl from her, from Morocco came as well. And we know that the land of Asher is made, you know, for the most part in Morocco. And before that, we got, when we did the lesson on the Banayamayana, right? The lady from, from Ghana, which father is from Togo, it was there. So that was what the spirit confirming that we were actually following the, the spirit. So for him to come while we're breaking Zebulun, I was like, hmm. But then through the spirit, it got revealed, didn't it? Right, so I want you to look up the word Gladstone. Because that's he said his name, I asked, I said, brother, do you mind me asking what your name is? He said, my name is Gladstone. So let's look up what Gladstone means, man. Okay. So the brother said his name was Gladstone, right? We've never met him before. We don't know him from Adams, okay? He came up here thinking he was from the tribe of Benjamin because obviously the 12 tribe chart says, well, if you're from the Caribbean, you're from the tribe of Benjamin. But let's find out if he's from the tribe of Benjamin. Gladstone, 
deep for some reason, man. It's always the case anyway. Spirit. Gladstone, Gladstone, quick, quick, quick. Stone. It means what? Right. Kite shaped stone. It means what? Kite, Kite shaped, shaped stone. stone. Right, so the brother said his name is Gladstone, right? And Gladstone means a kite shaped stone, right? Now, if you look at the shape of a kite, what does it remind you of? It reminds you of the sails on a ship. That's right! Because that's what kites look like. That's right. It looks like the sails on a ship. That's right. Okay? So Gladstone means kite shaped stone and kites are shaped like sails man right. the ones that the uh, you know the captains use on their ships to sail the ships so that's the first clue now the stone of Zebulon okay which is amethyst has a what a purple and I, color and now we'll put it on a, a, in a, in a, in a UC. It has a what? Purple color, right? Purple. Purple color, right? And that purple goes back to what? Well, that, that purple goes back to uh, the Shemite? No, no. The purple, the purple goes back to some someone that is set on high. It goes to being exotic. Yeah, royalty. royalty. Yeah, being being put on high, being set on high. Oh, yeah, because purple represents what? Being exalted. That's what uh, Zebulon. Yeah, but then again, his name means what? A kite shaped stone. Shape stone. And what do kites do? So, like, they, they, yeah, but where do they go? They go to the, yeah, yeah. They, they go to the Shamayama. Because remember, the Mayama is, is down and it's, it's up as well. Because the Shamayama, there's water up there as well. That's why when you look up, yeah. The, 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 the skies look like the ocean. Right, so that's 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 another clue as well. Alright. So yeah man, you know that's that's how we uh we came to that conclusion man. And also if you look at the shape of the of the stone of amethyst, which I will put, it looks like a kite man. That's right. It's kite shape. There you go. See how easy that was? But the brother didn't have the patience to receive that. How simple is that? How simple was that, man? And we don't even know the guy. But we're just applying the new wine knowledge. Now we know what tribe he is. So he's, so he's walking around. Oh, hang on, and another clue as well. What he really wanted to know was where the, the rivers were. Why did he want to know where the rivers were? Right. Yeah, so when you go back in the video, take that clip out and show them. Because Zebulon deal with what? Water. water. And I, I, I do have a visit as well to kind of like prove that Zebulon, regarding your breakdown though, you know? Oh, and, and another thing as well, he said he's been all over the world. He said I've been oh, to yeah, Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said I'm all over the YouTube, which is the worldwide waters. Right, 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 Come right, on, man. Right, right. He was telling on himself. Right. You right, see right, that? Right, right. right. Oh, and uh, and when, you go to the, when you go to uh, the Geronomy 33, right? When he pertained, uh, pertaining to, um, to Zebulun, you know, I will put it on the screen because it's very slow right now. Actually, let me get it. Like and it. also, uh, Capernaum, we, uh, which is uh, Yahweh Shai said, Thou art exalted unto the heavens. Nah. That's in the land of Zebulun, bro. Nah. Nah. And the kite goes to the heavens. Nah. When you fly nah. a kite, it goes towards the heavens. Nah. You see nah. that? Well, now this is what he said regarding uh, you know. Zebulun, yeah? It says, uh, that's, a, that's a Deuteronomy 33 and 18. Moses said this about the tribe of Zebulun, right? Obviously, an Isaac, right? He said, May the people of Zebulun prosper in their travels. You see that? So, and that's the NLT version. You see? So you got a travels element, a travel element, or the traveling element when it comes to Zebulun, man. You see, so the breakdown. The breakdown of, you know, last Shabbatah was on point, you 
know? Yeah, man, so that brother was from the tribe of Zebulon, man. That's right. It's funny to know. Yeah. Yeah. I said last week, man, to start traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, man. No? So, yeah, that shows you the brother was from the tribe of Zebulon, man. We're not making this shit up. And like I keep saying, when brothers finally catch on, you know, it's not gonna be nice. Especially the scoffers, the ones that are scoffing against the new wine. Okay? Yeah. Scoffers. The scoffers. scoffers, man. You know, but hey, but, hey, what does it say? It says, uh, better is the yeah. end of a thing right. than the beginning thereof. Right. Because you know when it first starts, it's slow. But when it takes off, everyone is gonna, be, oh, you know, I was down, you know. No, but it's not gonna work. Nah, out. man, we know you guys. We know those. Who, basically, we know those who are real, and we know those who are fake. Right? So yeah, man. So hey, so that brother was from the tribe of Zebulun. But today, we're gonna be talking about the tribe of Naphtali, which really, when you read about Naphtali, it talks about what Naphtali and Zebulon together. Yeah, it talks about Naphtali and Zebulon together sure. because Zebulon and Naphtali, you know, they go hand in hand. They're both what? Messengers. Okay? Well, it's just that. Sea, one by foot. Yeah, one by sea, one by foot. Right. There you go, that's the spirit. And that's why Yahweh Sha'ai picked the disciples from the land of Zebulon and Naphtali. Right. Okay? And we're going to go into that. So, yeah, so this is Naphtali. The emissary son of Jacob, all right? Emissary just means messenger sent for a special mission, all right? No, no, a messenger sent for a, a special miss mission, uh, emissary, all right? So concerning the tribe of Naphtali, we must first look at the very beginnings and their entry into the patriarchy. So my Amar, get Genesis 30 verse seven, all right? So we're going to go into uh, the tribe of Naphtali. Naphtali in the last one of Adasha is what? Napa Talaya. Napa Talaya. Napa Talaya. All right. All right. So we want to get Genesis chapter 30, verses 7 to 8. All right. Okay. So this is Genesis chapter 30, verse 7. And Bilha, Rachel's was made conceived again and bare Jacob a second son. Right. Verse 8. And Rachel said, with great wrestlings. With what? With, with great, great wrestlings. With what? With great wrestlings. Have I wrestled with my sister? Have I what? Have, have I, I wrestled, wrestled with, with my sister? sister? Right. So when you read that, you know, someone that's not learned might think that uh, Rachel was, you know, grappling with her sister that's not what he's talking about that's talking about the contentious manner okay in which Leah and Rachel were going at each other trying to get Jacob's favor okay because ultimately Leah was the one that was blessed with all the sons so it's like Jacob's favor was slightly shifting towards Leah okay and the example is in when she gave birth to Zebulon and she said, now my husband will dwell with me. Because when she had Reuben, uh, Simeon, Levi and Judah, all right, Jacob was halfway to her. His attention was halfway towards her because what? She had all the sons. Sure. Wow. So Leah now had to wrestle that attention away from Leah back to her. Because remember, initially, Jacob was what? Favoring Rachel because of her good looks. Right. But after he slapped it a few times and he got it out of his system, now he wanted children. Because that's more that's that's what happens with you pretty women. Okay? You rely on your looks, but after your after the man that you're with has slapped you a few times, he gets tired of you, bro. And that's a fact because you know that's just how Jake is. They get e easily um easily bored or you easily put off they get bored, bored man so now the next thing to keep the relationship spicy is what children children bring bring uh, joy through and, and also it makes you love your wife more because because there's a spiritual transaction between having children man that's why a lot of men that break up with their their women after they have children they get depressed 
because that child makes them love the woman more. But in this society, when women have children, that's when they go crazy, man. They start yeah. acting a fool. But, but, you know, that's actually the time for you and your husband's bonding to get stronger. Children actually are meant to bring parents together, also, make them tight, you know. That's right. Because that's the uh, that's the fruits of the uh, of the coming together between a man and a woman. That's the end product, and it's meant to tie them together. It's like it's kind of like a second blood covenant, you know. After the first taking the virginity, that's the first blood covenant. The children coming into the picture, that's the second covenant, which is meant to to seal things up and Rachel was lacking in that regard you understand so her handmaid uh, was it Bilha yeah Bilha Bilha her handmaid yeah, Bilha, Bilha redeemed her yeah her handmaid Bilha redeemed her by having what two sons Dan and Natalie and Dan means what judge or judgment Okay, the most I had mercy on her, bro. And he said, you know what? I gave you the looks. I didn't give you the children, but through your handmaid, I'm gonna give you Dan. So the most I was righteous. He gave righteous judgment, all right? That's why she called Dan judge. And then when it came to Naphtali now, the second son by her handmaid, she said, now with great wrestlings, have I wrestled to try and get Jacob to turn his attention back to me from my sister. Because what? There was a contention going on between the two of them to get the attention from Jacob. So that term wrestle actually means contend. And that goes back to how Jacob wrestled the angel. Okay? He contended with the angel and the angel blessed him. But really, if you look into that, that angel was who? Angel Michael. Maka Allah. Okay? The great prince that Daniel speaks about. Because the reason why he said as a prince thou hast power with your heart and with men is because Michael himself was a prince as well. That's why he said as a prince because he wrestled the angel Michael. That's who Jacob wrestled. And also, it's funny, the brother Michael Allah, he deals with the moon cycle. There you go. And what did, uh, 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 what did the angel Michael say? The day break it. That means the moon is... The moon cycle is nearly over let me go you see that yeah. so yeah that's the understanding on that one so so read that genesis 30 carry on the great wrestlings have i wrestled against my sister all right okay. uh, rachel said the great wrestlings have i wrestled with my sister and i have prevailed and i have what and i, I have, have prevailed. prevailed right because that the reason why naphtali is called uh wrestle or contend is because when you when you race with Nat Naphtali he's gonna prevail he's gonna get ahead of you basically because he's fast he's swift. quicker he's swift that's what she meant by I have prevailed because remember Leah and Rachel were involved in a race for Jacob's love so when she now had Naphtali she Naphtali is the fastest tribe so she now said through the spirit of Naphtali I'm ahead of my sister now because Naphtali means speed because Leah had a head start. Leah had a head start of what? Four children. So in order for her to catch up with the four, she needs a tribe that has the pace to be able to run so she can get back ahead of the four children that she had for Jacob because she was in down the pecking order when it came to the children. So Naphtali was like a booster to make her try and get ahead of her. You understand? Because that's what happens in a race, man. Sure. If Naphtali races all the tribes, he can give them a head start and say, run. He'll give you a head start because he knows he's faster than you. He's going to catch up with you and overtake you. You understand? That's why she said, I have prevailed because Naphtali will always run ahead of the tribes because they're fast. They got that sprint speed. That's the understanding of that tribe. And that's why they're the choice messengers, man. Because you need a messenger that's swift on the feet. The hind let loose. Yeah, yeah. I'm just explaining the rest of the time. But as I go on, you can understand why they're the messengers. It's quite windy today, isn't it? Right, so.
Genesis chapter 30 verse 8, uh, 30 verse 7 to 8. It says, Rachel exclaims on how she was constantly engaged in a purely contentious dwell with her sister Leah, hence the choice of name for the tribe that came forth out of the fiercely contentious situation between her and the older sister, okay? To win all of Jacob's love and attention. Because that's what they were doing, they were fighting for the love, man. Oh. That was the value of an Israelite man back then. True. But now, that's why Yahweh said, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. So we're, hey, we're going back to the old ways, man. An Israelite man's value is gonna skyrocket more than the petrol dollar and all of this garbage. True. The stocks are gonna break down, all right? So the ones of you that don't want to be MVPs, most valuable players, the most I gonna get rid of you. And you guys are gonna be classified as drops. Because Yahweh Heart is only looking for MVPs, man. That's what the whole 144,000 goes back to. Revelations 5, thou has made us priests and kings, and we shall reign in the earth. So how can you come and now say you don't want to be called Malaka as if that title of Malaka is meant to put you on high? That's just to elevate the Most High's supremacy, man. Because the Most High's title is what? The King of the King of Kings. And Yahweh Shai's title is what? The King of Kings. So if you don't want to be a king, you're diminishing his majesty because you're a scrub. So now he's going to be the king of a scrub. And that shows that when you're talking, you got to be careful. Your lack of wisdom is making you look like a retard, man. Okay? And we're gonna laugh at you at the council. We're gonna laugh at you. So you can avoid us as much as you want to, but the time is coming, man. So you can keep crawling around, all right? Creeping around, creepy crawling around in those dirty alleyways until the judgment table is presented. And you are gonna have to be present, whether you like it or not, because it's not gonna be up to you anymore. Because the reason why a lot of these um, uh, jakes are playing the fool is because they have what? Liberta, liberty. They got liberty to do so. And one, and the worst thing you can give to an Israelite is liberty. That's why this is the worst empire that Israel have ever been in. Because this empire gives you liberty to be the biggest demon you can be, man. And that's what we're seeing. This is like the final form of jakes pride and jakes, you know, uh, uh, manifestation of that liberty that he was given. We're seeing the full form of it. All right? Yeah, can I quickly, but I can quickly come around, right? Regarding what you say, that's very important. And also, for, 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 you know, us knowing or some brothers knowing that they are one of the prophets of old or something like that, or knowing who you are through the spirit, it doesn't, it doesn't make you, you know, it doesn't make you, or it doesn't stop you from being an awful elect. What it does, that is, it, 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 it allows you to have more faith and do the work, you know, with more efficiency. With efficiency. Like to be more efficient in your work because you know who you are. You say, yo, listen, I'm this. Now, the most high, but they say to, to whom much is given, much more is required. So that make you take your work more serious, all right, and do what you have to do so the most high, and the most high just starts who you love. So just because you know who you are, it doesn't mean that it means that I say now you're safe. So that understanding needs to be uprooted, you know, of the mind, okay, and understand and have clarity, right? Yeah, I've got, I've got a quick precept, I just want to read here. Right, so this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16, right? It says, for though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory. And this was uh, Apostle Paul speaking, right? It says, for necessity is laid upon me. Now he's going to explain why. Because now that you know who you are for the Spirit, necessity is laid upon me. Why do you think we're out here, man? I was, I was waking up today and I was like, oh man, why do I have to even go out there? Fuck these niggas, man. But then I was like, I know too much. I gotta stay in the yard, I'm gonna get clapped. You see what I'm trying to say? Because this, like we said, this assembly is worse than the mafia, bro. The most high is gonna tackle you if you don't do the work. Because a lot of brothers didn't see me for over a year 
I, I didn't stop teaching. You asked everybody how, who, what do you think I was doing in that year and a half? I was getting these brothers ready, man. Was I not teaching? When, 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 it was, it just wasn't on camera. You see, Jake always wants to see shit on camera. Well, so now, so yeah, now, through the, the, the spirit, the most high has brought me back on the camera. Just so what? We can manifest what we was cooking in the kitchen. That's right. It's always the case. But a lot of guys have already cursed me out in trespass. So you, you just get ready for the slap, innit? Right, so 1 Corinthians 9 verse 16 again. It says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yay! So so it said it said it says yay and that's how you know that's how you know Jake wrote this isn't it because he said he said yay woe is me woe is unto me woe means death and destruction Woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. So you're saying, you're saying that what we're teaching is some bullshit. What we're teaching is a false doctrine. We have a, a, a Beelzebub spirit on us. So come and teach the right thing then. But you know why he won't do it? Because he's full of shit. That's why. Because that's one thing I've noticed about brothers. They're full of shit, man. Okay? Because in order to be fruitful on a farm, you need dung, you need shit. And that's why Israel are, you know, they're populous. Because they're full of shit. So now it makes sense why the nation is as the sand of the sea. Because what? Bullshit brings about prosperity on a farm because it's what? It's compost, it's manual. So we understand the science behind that. So we know we're dealing with some bullshitting ass niggas, man. So you guys ain't doing nothing because we know your game, all right? So check this out now. Uh, and also, they think they're fighting against us, but they're slowly beginning to realize that they're actually fighting against the most high. But it's that pride, it's that pride in them, you know, that's making them not recognize that they need to turn a new leaf. You gotta be careful, man. Okay? Yeah! You don't wait until the Mosa sit you down proper. You need to understand what's going on. You know, because you know, sometimes the Mosa will give you a little jab just to check you, like, yo. But if you carry on coming in, he's going, he's going to hit you with the hook. Or even an uppercut, you know? Yeah! And when the Mosa touches you, you're never the same again. So you don't want that kind of heat, man. And then you've got brothers talking about uh, did the angel appear onto you and all of that madness. But yet you're using the same thing that we're teaching to adorn yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jake for you, man. That's Jake, man. That's you that 419 of Ephraim. Because what we have in Israel is you got certain tribes that are living amongst other tribes. So the leaven of that tribe pertaining to Galatians 6 and 9 will jump on that individual. Like for instance, the brother that came last week, he's a Zebulonite with Benjamin. He's a Zebulonite with Benjamin leaven on him. That's all it is. So you can have a Levite, okay, with Ephraimite leaven on him. But up here, that Ephraimite 419 shit, it don't fly. We see it, we see it. That's I why. Got, I got hate on. So basically, you saying that the new wine, because you know me, I'll keep it real. I don't want to speak, but I'll speak, yeah? You saying that the new wine is bullshit. That's basically what you're saying. But at the same time, you're using the new wine swag to make yourself look good. At the same time, they will steal your swag. And that's that eat on my 11. Yeah, 50 cent, yeah, 50 cent data to Jaru. The 50 cent was like, Jaru is singing, singing like a bird, like a woman. But as soon as he put Jaru, he took 
and Jaru out of the game, what did he do? He started singing. He started to sing all these these hood, these these nice hood too. And then he went off the charts. So he was hating on Jaru, but then at the same time took Jaru's swag. And that's what Jake does, man. You see that the new one is not a real thing, it's fake. But we seen you having I mean, basically, you stole the, 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 the information about the, 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 the lead line, you know, uh, 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 check and stuff, right? That's you for the new uh, wine, yeah. Spirit, the new wine, man. So if you don't believe in something, don't, because it make you look like a, now we know the 419 is all on you. That's why I said last time, that rather need deliverance. All that talk, talk, that's why I'm not, I'm not concerned with none of your talk or whatever you are you know, saying, because I can proceed to the spirit. So, what you need, brother, is deliverance. So stop talking too much and get to the deliverance, man. Right? And you'll be better, man. Because look, next season, what? Sha season. Sha season, yeah. yeah. And Sha season, I've, I've, I've perceived it in every perceivable way. It's not going to be nice. It's going to be. Ja you've seen how. You've seen a chainsaw before, right? Yeah. The edge of a chainsaw looks like Sha. Not, it's not, like not. multiple Shas. Multiple Shas. Because the Sha symbol is like that, right? Wave. It's, yeah, it's like a wave as well, you know? And that's where they get the term shark from. Shark. You've seen how the shark's teeth are. Shark bite. You know that you know that Ephraimite guy that goes around dancing and eating. Oh yeah, yeah, that guy, yeah. He yeah. said he says shark bite. Shark you see what I'm saying? Yeah, right, because the shark bite is devastating. And a chainsaw or a saw, when it cuts, it cuts through wood. And when you read, uh, is it Mark chapter 8, he says, I, I see men like trees upon the earth. Yeah, yeah. So how are you going to chop the tree down? So that shows a lot of you niggas are going to get felled in shot season because felling goes back to chopping trees down. And you can only chop the tree down with a jagged head blade. So shot season ain't going to go any other way. It's gonna be a jagged edge judgment. Jagged edge is what? It's just sha with a, a, another W. Sha, the sword. And it's gonna leave you sore. You're gonna be you're gonna be in pain. You're gonna be let me write that down. Because I, I don't think brothers understand what Sha season really is, man. Get that mark, get mark chapter. Is it mark 8 and 24? Yeah, this thing is serious, man. You know, so so okay is Sha with the W. That's why it's got the W in there. So that's that's just the watered down way of saying Sha. And what a so okay has what the Sha edge like that. And it says here, yeah, Shai was the son of what? A carpenter. Uh, what is the carpenter's prime tool? Uh, a saw for cutting wood. Right. You niggas are gonna get hurt out here, you know. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> You're just waiting to be had. You can say what you want to say about us. Okay, but just like the tribe of Napatalaya, we're ahead on game. And we're looking back at you like, like what the fuck are you guys doing? You're not even on the race course. We're trying to get you on the race course, okay? So yeah, so that saw has a jagged edge. And that's what you use for what? Cutting trees, okay? Now, saw can also go back to what? Saw pain. So show that, yeah, and there's a there's a horror movie called Saw. Yeah. Go and watch it, man. Go and watch it. You see that? So you got the saw, which is gonna chop you niggas down, all right? Cause you niggas, you know, you like to you like you like to give the gal that wood, innit? So you gonna get sawed down. And saw can go back to feeling sore, cause that's what shot season is gonna do. A lot of you niggas that were fucking around with all that fat in you, you're going to get taken to the gym and you're going to be left feeling sore. You're going to get the pain. So the shot season is going to bring the pain to you because that's what a lot of you guys need, okay? Because that's what overweight people 
are put through. They put through the pain to get them in shape. So that's what the shot season is, is, is bringing. All right? So yeah, that's, that's, that's it on that. That was just a little analogy. All right? So... Right. Right, so let's get back to the lesson, man. All right? So it says, although she mentions, although Leah mentions the wrestling nature with which she wrestled her sister for Jacob's love and attention, this can be simplified with the interpretation of them being in a contentious household. All right? There was no peace in that house, you know. It was two sisters going at each other trying to get Jacob's love, right? Contentious household, which is synonymous with how the tribe will be contentious to get ahead of everyone, as Rachel contended to get ahead of Leah. Naphtali will have the knack to want to get ahead Hence, their swift nature of being the most rapid tribe amongst the sons of Israel. This unique trait of being ahead makes them the prime choice for playing the role of emissary, okay? Or better yet, the messenger tribe. This can be correlated to how the tribe of Naphtali were chosen as the first tribe of Israel to set foot in the land. Because the tribe of Naphtali went ahead of everyone else. They were the first tribe to step foot into the land of Israel. And that's why Leah said, well, I have prevailed ahead of my sister. Because what, the tribe of Naphtali was the first tribe to step foot into the land. You see that? They were the first tribe, man. Okay. And if they were the spy, they went and checked the, checked the land. Yeah. And also they went ahead. That's spiritual with the speed. They're always gonna be ahead of the tribes. You see that? And that's how we know when no, when no hell broke, broke loose in the land of Israel, the first tribe to left to leave would have been Naphtali. Right. They, were gone. they were gone! They were gone! Okay. <laughs> and anytime some shit is about to start, they're gonna see it first. Yes. Because what? They're on the border. Right. Right. They're like the telephone wire, the communication. And once they see shit coming, they're going to analyze. Are we going to be able to take this shit down? If they see they can't take it down, they're gone. Okay? That's how the tribe of Naphtali are, man. They got ants in their pants. That's why they're so fast. Okay? <laughs> well, there you go. That's that speed, bro. Right, so it says... Uh, this can be correlated to how the tribe of Naphtali were chosen as the first tribe of Israel to set foot in the land allotted to Reuben. That was Jericho. Because what does Jericho mean? Moon. And when you go to the Congo, between the Congo and Uganda, there's a series of mountains. We've already talked about this. Yeah, the way Rwenzuri Mountains, Rwenzuri. the source of the Nile as well. Right, that's the source of the Nile. That's, that's where, where the Lake Victoria. Yeah, that's where you find the Moon Mountains. You see that? That's where you find the Moon Mountains. That's why Michael Jackson, who's a Reubenite, was known for what? The Moon Walk. Yeah, and that often. Of the wall album goes, goes into the, the Jericho. Jericho. And the Chinese are known for the Great Wall of China. That's how we know the tribe of Ruben are among the Gooks. That's why you see the Gooks that dance. Those are Rubenites. Those are Rubenites, man.
when you watch those movies like uh you know uh is it step up save the last yeah, dance you, you see there's always a goof even when you watch chris brown's latest video sensational he's got a goof dancing in there man why because Ruben is among the gooks because they took the land of the gooks. Yeah, We're and, not making and, this and, up. And, and, and even that guy, the, the guy from Belgium, that French Congolese guy. Yeah, he's got the gook he got, uh, girl. He got, he got a, a gook girl. Yeah. She, she looked like that's a Rubenite. Yeah, that's a Rubenite, man. That's a, a, a speckle bird. You know? A lot of them have those. Uh, the most high just puts everything in front of us. And that goes back to that Isaiah 6 and 9. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Good. So yeah, uh it says the land allotted to Reuben being Jericho, alright? It says they went ahead of the tribes to Rahab, the harlot's house as this is symbolic of the tribe always being ahead due to their extreme speed my amar joshua chapter 2 verse 6 because you gotta remember the the reason why the tribe of naphtali were chosen to be the first scouters really let me say scouts because really they, they it goes back to scouting as well they're like a scouter tribe they'll go and scout the area okay because we need information being relayed with the quickness. We need to make the decision quickly. So we need a, a, a tribe that is swift on the feet. Right? Let loose. A hind let loose bringing goodly words. Loose mean poof. When you see them gazelle, them impala and they're wild man, it's, it's beautiful to see how they can jump from one point to the next point. It's like, poof, they're gone. So yeah, so we're going to read about the two messengers. Now, even though it doesn't say the two messengers uh, were from the tribe of Natalie, this is spiritually discerned. Okay? Because you got to be able to get on that level where you can just tell of all the tribes, what tribe would be the best tribe to send as an emissary? Natalie. And the storyline will show you they were from the tribe of that too. Joshua. 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 This is Joshua chapter 2 verse 6. Bring it out. But she had brought them up to the roof. But she had what? But she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stalks of flax. And what? And hid them with the stalks of Not flax. Attention, bro. And what? And, and hid them with the stalks of flax. Right, so she hid them in the stalks of flax stalks. on the roof where she had laid an order upon the roof. And that shows you that um, they were lightweight. Of course. Because if they were heavy, she wouldn't put them on the ceiling. They'll fall down. And they wouldn't be, she wouldn't be able to take them with that rope up there. You know, you gotta be light to be able to do that maneuver, you know? Yeah. And that's why when you meet the Napatalaya brother, what is he? Lightweight. <laughs> and the other one as well. Lightweight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? It's, the, it's all there, man. No confusion. Carry on reading. It's the spirit. Man. Yeah. Spiritually discerned, you see them lightweight. You know? Verse 7. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan up to the fort. No, no, no. Verse. Yeah. The bit where she lowered them down with have you read that already? But she had laid order upon the people of blacks. So that's what that's up. Okay, okay. Verse 7. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the forts. And as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. Verse 8. Notice it says the way unto the Jordan. Yeah. With the what? Unto the, the forts. So that shows you Jordan ain't no flipping lake, man. You have to swim. I mean, you can it's swim, a but it's a ford. You can cross it with the staff, man. Yeah, yeah, a ford. It's a ford. Okay. So you got the whole thing wrong, man. Carry on. Carry Verse on. eight. And before they were laid down, 
she came up un up onto them upon the roof. Verse 9. <coughs> and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror has slapped and that your terror is fallen upon us. And another thing you go, you know, spiritually extrapolate as well. How did she know that the Most High has delivered the land into their hands? Because she's sleeping with all the men in the city. Right, right. All, all the mighty men in the city are doing some creepy crawling. You know? Because one thing about prostitutes is they are the most informed people in a city. Because all the men that make the city go round, they pay her a visit. So they all got the same familiar spirits because they're all sleeping with the same woman. And what do they do when they sleep with her? They pillow talk. They tell her, ah, oh, you know, um, you know, I want to start a business. Ah, ah, you know, you know, the Israelites are coming, you know. And I don't know if we won't be able to take them down because, you know, you saw what their God did in Egypt. So they were pillow talking. So she already knew that these guys are not ready to, to win the fight. That's why she took them into her house. Because she knew that those guys were already defeated. Sure. How else, how else did she know that? Because all the warriors were sleeping with her, man. You know? So a lot of these, that's why we keep telling you brothers, you gotta be careful with these are showers, man. They got familiar spirits on them. Doesn't it say a harlot is a deep ditch? That's what it says. And we was trying to help you brothers out, but you didn't want to listen. You want you want to play ball? You want you, you want to swim? You want to swim in those waters without a life jacket? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Swim in there. You got, you got to stop slapping that shower, man. It's not. It's not. I even did a lesson on that when I say all these women are. You know, all the women are hard out here. But you know what? If, if you tell, if you tell, more. if you tell the brothers to stop slapping a shower, that's not being realistic. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, so what I will, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I will say is, all right, all right. All right. If, even if you want to deal with a prostitute, right, right. you have to be under a certain discipline to be going in there. You can't just go in there. I said that in the previous video, and brothers were talking shit. So we'll just leave you. Go in there and play ball, man, and let's see how you come out. Well, we're already seeing how they're coming out. <laughs> you guys, you, you, you can't just get up and just go to a prostitute, bro. You don't do that. No, you don't. Uh, you don't, uh, you you don't can't do just ritual. get up and go to a prostitute's house. You can't do that, bro. It doesn't work like that. You, do some ritual, ritual. you know the kind of spirits that are in her house? Bro. Do you know the kind of men that see her? And a lot of you brothers are not on no level to be going to prostitutes, man. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be spiritually tough to, to, to deal with these demons. And like I said, the spirit that's on you, it's not gonna be the same spirit that's on another brother. Oh, that's a very So just because you see a certain brother go to a prostitute and you're saying, oh, I'm gonna go there too. Not go the there and see what happens to you, man. That's why a lot of you guys are fucked up, man. Because you see a brother do something and say, oh, let me go and do it as well. Oh, oh, David took Bathsheba. Let me go and try it. The most I go kill you, man. Go on, finish that piece here. Okay. And that your terror is fallen upon us. And that your what? And that, that your, your terror, terror is fallen upon, upon us. us. Yeah, you gotta be concentrated, brother, you know. And that all the distracted by your surroundings. And all. And that all the inhabitants of the land because of you you see that because they're all the inhabitants of the land the men that the who's who's in Jericho they were coming to her yard to sleep with her so they she she's exchanging energy sexual energy with all the mighty men so she knows she can tell that these guys ain't ready and what did she do in typical Ashawa fashion she was looking for the next customer True. That's all she did, man. To secure a bag. To <laughs> secure the bag, innit? <laughs> and that's what a lot of these uh, uh, women do when they see the Jake with a nice car. Yeah. They, you know, when Jake comes to talk to her, they say, oh, sorry, I've got a boyfriend. As soon as she sees the nice car, yeah. 
she she comes and he's like, I thought you said you got a boyfriend. Yeah, and she's like, it's not that serious. <laughs> so that shows you a lot of you guys, you're sacrificing doing the work of the Lord for these whores. But when the men of the Lord come, all of these whores are gonna be bowed down. And that's what Rahab did when that Natalie came about. That's a very good one. Because Napatalaya, they were men of the Lord that came to that town. And you see how easily she submitted to them, even to the point she was ready to risk her own life. But you guys are, you're, you're, you're sacrificing doing the work of the Lord for all these whores that are gonna be laid down. Man. And the most high ain't dealing with you because you put him second. You'd rather be going, jumping from one slut's house to another than coming to support your brothers, man. After you've done been told that this is Ezekiel, the prophet. You deserve to get what's coming to you, man. And if we can help you, we won't. We're gonna let the Most High have his way. Because one thing I will never do is what Moses tried to do. When he said, oh, don't, no, no, no. I'll let the Most High do what he, he needs to do. Don't get in the way. I ain't trying to get in, because you saw what happened to Moses when he tried to get in the way. Even to the point where, even today, Moses still can't see the land. <laughs> He's fucked up! Sometimes when I listen to Apostle Tahara, I'm like, that's definitely Moses, man. He can't see. The fact, he's one of the most intelligent teachers in all Israel, but he still can't see the land flowing with milk and honey. That's spiritual, man. That's why we just go and leave him alone. Because he's not gonna see it. Because the Hawaha has blinded him. And that goes back to the trespass at Meribah. Right, so, uh, so yeah. Yeah, this is a spiritual journey, man. Yeah. You know, sometimes I, I catch hell, but I'm like, nah, the new one is too, it's too correct. You can't that's go against it, bro. You know? You study you like, nah, this thing is too correct, bro. I can't, you know, nah, that shit is too on point. Even yeah. though my people in them don't see it, you know? I have to be like, nah, I, I'm, I'm gonna run with that. I'm gonna run with that, I have to. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, I mean, he, he keeps saying um, Iraq is, you know where the garden of i don't even know but his mind is focused on that fake middle east but when you go to that fake middle east like i keep saying the people that are there they're not real people they're not real pe they're not real breeds of people they're not the real they're not asian people bro asian asian people asian people are from africa distant people distant nations hey when uh, 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 when they do their athletics, who are the long distance runners? East, the Easterners. Have you have you ever seen a long distance runner come from Iraq? Uh -uh. Come from Palestine? Uh -uh. Come from the the fake Iran, Middle Iran, East? Iran, very rare, very very rare. And that shows you guys a carnal. You're not on no level to be teaching the new wine. That's why the Most High didn't give you the new wine. You guys are still stuck on stupid, man. You're stuck on stupid. The long distance runners are from Eastern Africa for a reason. Because they go back to the distant nations, the Mesopotamia nations, the Nimrods, the Nebuchadnezzars, the Shalmanesses. All these guys were from East Africa. All of them. They go back to the Asian empires, bro. That's why all the long distance runners come from the Eastern part. And you can't find no Iraqi guy that has done a 5K. And the record holder today, even though he's from England, he, he's from Somalia, man. Somalia. That's spiritual. I forgot his name. Mo Farah. Mo Farah. That That's is spiritual, name, man. Yeah, yeah. Because those guys are the ancient Shina people. Okay? That's where Abraham came from. The distant people, the nation that was first set up by Yahweh. And they can run the 5K and the 10K. They got the stamina. Because what? They're Asian people, man. People from a whole time. That's the genetics alone. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's how you tell who's who. Yeah. That's how you tell who is who. True. Because I just told you, you will never see a guy from Palestine run a 5K. 
or a 10k or even compete on a higher level there's a reason why all those guys are coming from that part of the world and only those with spiritual eyes can discern and see that There you go, man. Rude, let me read. That's, hey, that's another achievement unlocked for the video game. And that all the inhabitants of the land fate because of you. Verse 10. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea yeah. for you when he came out of Egypt. There you go. In the same way you niggas are bitching, that's how the younger generation are going to hear about how you guys were being some retarded sons of bitches when the new one came out because you think you're gonna get away with all of the shit that you're doing but the same way it was recorded on how the most high dealt with the egyptians that's how the way you guys are behaving is gonna be recorded man for all time that's why you gotta be careful how you're behaving in this you gotta be careful man okay because you guys are going to be recorded, you know. You're going to be recorded for all of the bullshit, for all of the madness that you guys are, uh, are perpetuate, uh, uh, perpetrating, okay? That's why we keep telling brothers, if you don't understand, don't even like the video, just leave it alone. It's still going to do what it's supposed to do, pertaining to Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Sure. It shall not return unto me void. No, yeah, stop looking back, bro. Just focus. No, I'm just, just on. Yeah, just carry on. Don't worry about stop. it. When he came out of Egypt, and what he did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side, that were on the other side, Jordan, Sihon, and Og, who he utterly destroyed. Verse 11 And as soon as we had heard these things Our hearts did melt Neither did there remain any more courage in any man See that? Because of you And the fact that she said any man That shows all the men were running up in it Weak ass guys bro And it's funny because where I'm staying There's a woman that lives you know down the street like literally we share the same drive and she's a prostitute and how you can tell I, well you seen her before in it that yeah that that part yeah we parked right next to her thing and every time you look every time you look there's a different car there and that's how you know the kind of job that she's doing and that's spiritual because that's the nation of israel the nation of israel have become spiritual harlots man so that was symbolic the fact that she's right there and yes and guess who her biggest customers are taxi drivers man you see that yeah the all these ta all these taxi drivers man they're the ones who hold it yeah but no but it's it's it's, 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 it's mainly the um, you know the ishmaelite you know the guys those guys they come there man and the india guys the elam guys because those elam guys you know they come to the communities they hustle you hustle bustle you take all that money and go and give it to the ashawa man you know because they know you niggas are good money they know they can spend as much money on their shower because you niggas are still going to come to their shop and buy their shit. yeah because you that's why they call you guinea what does guinea go back to money, money. you guys are just money making machines man okay Anyway, read that. Guinea pig, guinea pig. Verse 11. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man. See that? Because of you. For the Lord your, your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Verse 12. Now, therefore, I pray you, Swear unto me by the Lord, since I have shewed you kindness, that ye will also shew kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true token. Verse 13. And that ye will save alive my father, and my mother, and my brethren, and my sisters, and all that they have. And 
deliver our lives from death. Verse 14, and the man answered her, our life, our life for yours? If we answer not this, our busyness, and it shall be when the Lord hath given us the land that we will dwell kindly and truly with thee. The promise to Rahab, verse 15. Then she let them down by a cord. Then she what? Then, then she, she let them down by a cord. One more time. Then she let them down by a cord. So you see that? She let them down by a cord. Down. So that goes to show you they were from the tribe of Naphtali because what? Naphtali are light on the feet and also they're light in weight. Okay? They're light. Because hey, the woman can't be that strong to carry those those men. See what I'm saying? So it shows you they weren't heavy. That's why she was even able to hide them in the on the roof. And when you look up that flax, there's something called flax seed. Yeah, and, I just have that so and, so and, and and that's what they use, they feed the horse with flaxseed. Oh, wow. And Naphtali is like a human horse, he's fast. See that? Yeah. So all the it's clues are there, man. All the clues are there, man. Spiritually discerned. But niggas are still going to scope. That's why we're saying you guys don't need prayers, man. Okay? You need that situation at the temple. True. When the cords got tied together and an ass whooping was dished out. Okay? Because every situation doesn't need prayers. That's another mistake that a lot of you niggas are doing. When you see a Jake, you say, oh, pray, pray for him, pray for him. He doesn't need prayers, man. Okay? Prayers don't cure everything, you know? Sometimes you, they need the kaboko, man. That's gonna cure them. All right? Read that. Verse 15. Then she let them down by a cord through the window, but her house was upon the tall wall. And she dwelt upon the wall. No, I started, started. Verse 16. And she said unto them, Get you to the mountain, lest the pursuers meet you and hide yourselves there three days. Yeah, that's it. Right, right so Joshua chapter 2, verse 6. A precept showing how. Rahab hid the messengers of Israel in flax, which points us in the direction of Napatalaya. As due to their horse-like speed, the flax seed is typically used as horse food. Also, right. most Naphtilians are typically of a lighter weight right. and are light on their feet. Hence, Rahab being able to lower them down to escape. All right. So get Joshua chapter two. Oh, oh you've read that already, Salaha. Right. So Joshua chapter two, verse fifteen. All right. A precept showing how Rahab lowers down the messengers using a cord, yeah. which indicates that they would have been men of a lighter weight class and light on the feet for the needed speed to get away from danger. Right. Because you gotta be light, man, to, you know, swivel, swabble, run, like even the uh, Usain Bolt. He's not a big guy, he's slim, sweet, tall, you know, and he looks like a horse as well. I'm not being disrespectful, but you say both. He looks, he looks like a horse, yeah, because he's got that horsepower, man. He's fast. Okay. Right. So get Genesis 49 and 21. You know, because you say both is from the tribe of Naphtali, man. And it don't take a genius to figure that one out. So he's not no Benjamin. Just like we showed you the brother that came last week. He's not a Benjamin. So it shows you a lot of you guys got your tribes wrong. And the only way you're going to find out what tribe you are is through the church of Yahweh Sha'ai. That's how okay. it was. I say it off, it? That's how it is, man. <laughs> we didn't charge him no money, you know. All he had to do was what? Humble down to the class and he would have found out his tribe. But you know, Jake is always impatient. Jake has no patience, man. Even for his own tribe, he has no patience. So that shows when Yahweh Shai said, well, 
the patience and the faith is what's going to get you through this. He said that specifically because not only are you niggas lacking in faith, but you're also lacking immensely in patience. And that's how you're going to get got. Okay? This is Genesis chapter 49, verse 21. Naphtali is a hind let loose. Naphtali is what? Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth goodly words. He what? He giveth goodly words. words. Right, so it says Naphtali is a hind let loose. That's talking about deers, antelopes, impalas, okay? Hind let loose. So we're going to break it down. Right, so Genesis chapter 49, verse 21. A precept showing how Jacob blesses his son Naphtali with the gift of being a choice messenger, bearing good news. Also, hinds are light. Also, hinds are light but quick animals that use their speed as a defense mechanism to get away from predators. Another point to consider is the fact that the capital city of Uganda, okay, is called Kampala. Sure. And what does the Kampala go back to? Impala. 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 Naturally, I let loose. Okay. It says, which is name, which is the name derived from the exceptional amount of impalas in that region. This can be spiritually discerned as going back to how Napatalaya was sent as a hind let loose from that region to spy out the land ahead of the tribes. Also, the fact that Joshua sent two spies, because he sent two spies, right? Instead of one is another example of why you just simply cannot do the ministry alone. So that's another cut, man, because the, the messengers that he sent to Jericho, he sent two in the mouth of two, yeah, of two witnesses, man. That is so, but you see Jake out there on his own with the camera. You think you're doing something. You're not establishing anything. You're just wasting your time because the Most High deals with order, okay? He said two or more. And every precept, he shows an example of two or more. It's really, it's like, it's, it's mind blowing, man. seeing how Jake behaves out here, man. It's mind blowing. Ah, boy. Right, so, uh, right. So it says also the fact that Joshua sent two spies instead of one is another example of why you just simply cannot do the ministry alone as a solo rebel. <laughs> Being self-willed and full of pride. Because well, that's what it is, man. Solo rebel. Solo rebel. Yeah. Because you're rebelling against the order that Yahweh half but Hashemah Yahweh Shai say out. Okay. And order goes back to what? Melchizedek. Order of Melchizedek. And Melchizedek is made up of two tribes. Levi and Judah, the priest and the king. After the order of Melchizedek. You see that? <laughs> Don't follow order, man, because that's the only thing. The main thing right now for Israel is to follow order. That's what the most I want to It's not, you know, how many precepts you know, how you can teach and this and that. It's how can you follow order. So actually, when you follow order, it means that you love the most side. Go. So that's part of love as well. Hey, even, you know? even the anatomy of your the anatomy of your body's composition, all right? How many eyes do you have? Do you have one eye or two, have two eyes? How many hands do you have? You have two. How many legs do you have? You have two. How many ears do you have? You have two. <laughs> so you got twain of everything. You got two brains. So you got two of everything. Hold on, so, so you, you got to eat people. Oh, man, come on. Just, just, just ignore, ignore them, man. them, man. How can you be so low, man? You see everything that you pass through that you have to come through, man. Man. Look, you know back in the dark ages, right? These guys were our castle fools. So why are we so surprised when they're behaving like fools? We shouldn't. You're looking for the for, 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 
for an itinerary direction and he came all the way here. So this kid was following, he couldn't even figure out in his mind that his people standing all right, just carrying on. Yeah, but that's why that's why in the dark ages we kept them as entertainment. You understand? Yeah, let's just let's just carry on and you know let's finish and let's go man. <laughs> we nearly done in it, nap to me and that's it. This is gonna be late. Hey, you even got brothers in the truth that are behaving mm. worse than these guys. Oh, that's powerful because when you are speaking about order, <laughs> disorderly, yeah. So the ones that were showing us, this is the kingdom we live yeah, in, yeah. the kingdom of disorderly, you know, ways, ways and manners, manners. Civilized. uncivilized ways and manners. You know, because a lot, uh, if you see the way a lot of these guys are behaving, even though this guy is a fool. You know, he's and he's a retard. A lot of the brothers are behaving yeah. worse than what he's doing because he's he's not even talking. You know, he just walked in front of the camera. But you got brothers that will actually make videos, be making threats, be talking all kind of BS. We be going to other brothers to go and try and get them to fall down as well with their madness. Okay, coming up with newly created doctrines. That don't even make no sense but yet they won't come out to teach see that hypocrisy and madness at the same time and it's going to be checked in due season right so uh yeah man so yahweh shai purposely chose his disciples from the land of naphtali pertaining to how the tribe's sole purpose is to bring goodly words as we do with this gospel of the new wine because this is this is good news man so we're in the spirit of naphtali okay we're messengers like naphtali and we're bringing goodly words we're telling you what tribe you are i mean come on that's beautiful man the true messengers yeah, so uh, get Proverbs 25 and 25. Yeah, because this is the good news that Yahweh Shai was talking about, man. Okay? And it's going to be bad news for you if you buck up against it. You know? Yeah, but so far, anyone, those who buck up against it, they're not in their same great. Things happen. Let's let, let put it in so things happen. Bro. And this is just the beginning because, you know, until you humble, I'm telling you, when the Most High puts the squeeze on you, it's not nice, you know? don't want to be that guy okay you're fighting against air when you come up against the most high have you ever seen anyone fight the wind before that's a shadow box shadow box there you go <laughs> you're fighting against wind when you come because that's what the rawakha when you go into the term rawakha it means spirit but then it goes back to wind oh, yeah wind oh, spirit. you're fighting the wind man and when you see a man fight in the wind, they look retarded. Read that, read that. <laughs> this is Proverbs chapter 25, verse 25. As cold waters to a thirsty soul. As what? As, as cold waters to a thirsty soul. Right? So is the good news from a far country. So is what? So is the good news from a far country. Yeah, man. There you go. So this should be like a relief, you know? Because it was a relief for me. Because now we don't have to guess anymore. Yeah, we know a lot of things. <laughs> we don't have to guess anymore. You know? Yeah. People, brothers don't want it, man. We don't have to guess anymore, man. No, you know? no, we know what's what. We know what's what now. And that's beautiful. That's love. That's the most high showing us love. Right, so Proverbs 25, 25, a precept showing the importance of spreading this word to those ordained to receive it. All right. Joy, who's got the NLT Bible? I won't, I won't mark 16 and 15 in NLT. Though. Yeah, mark 15. Yeah, let's get it. Go Google and type it. Yeah, Mark 15 is. Yeah, read that, Malachi. 16 and 15 or 15 and 16? Yeah, 16 and 15. Yeah. 
That's why the disciples were taken from Naphtali. Zebulon and Naphtali, that's where he got the 12 from, right? Yeah, because to be a disciple of Yahweh Shai, you gotta have a bit of a that Naphtalian spirit in you, man. Oh, that's you. Yeah. That's you. You, gotta be a, you gotta be a messenger. You gotta be swift on your on your feet. Yeah. No hesitation. You gotta go and do the work. And also you gotta be ready for that. Because oh, yeah, yeah, you be those messengers could have got killed if they were found. Come on, come on. You gotta be fearless, yeah. Right? Yeah, a man of the law, you have to be a, a warrior, you know. You can't be you can't be weak. You gotta be able to stand. Even if you mean that you be, you know, whatever's gonna happen, just stand in. Stand, you know, face with adversity, basically. That's that's how you have to be as a man right so mark chapter 16 verse 15 in the nlt says a precept describing this word as good news all right so my amma get deuteronomy 33 23 carrying on deuteronomy 33 23 Of me, I said delete it now. How you gonna take why a would picture you, of why, me? Wait, why would you have a picture of us? Like, it doesn't make sense bro, though. Why you come here, bro? What do you mean? Let's carry on. Let's carry on. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 33, nah, verse 23. Of us, of Naphtali, he said, O oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor, <laughs> are full with the blessing of the Lord. Possess thou the west and the south. What? Possess thou this is Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23 and our Naphtali he said oh Naphtali satisfied with favor right and full with blessing of the Lord right. possess thou the west and the south you what possess, possess thou, thou the, the west, west and, and the, the south, south. Yeah, that's it on there. Yeah, that Gamala, you know, right, yeah, Gamala, yeah, I'm gonna break it down. Yeah, Gamala. Yeah, these people are sick, man. They need to be destroyed. Just take a picture of this chat shit. Imagine I imagine he was on the train and I was I was, I was taking a picture of him. You'll probably see I'm a I'm a, uh, I'm a freak or something. Yeah. Are you are you are you are you gay? I don't want to say that, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was close to say that, but I changed my mind. Right, so uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23, right? It says, uh, Naphtali blessed with land from the west and the south, pertaining to the land of Zebulon, which is modern day Algeria, right? The borders of the south to the west, when arriving from the east, okay? So I'm gonna say that again, for those of you that didn't catch it. The borders of the south, okay, to the west, when arriving from the east, which is always the starting point. Because we, we travel from the east to the west. But when you're coming from the east to the west and you go to the south, what does it mean? Triangle. Which goes back to the symbol Gamala. Right, and we're gonna break it down, man. Oh, so south is Niger, west is Mali. Yeah, like that. No, south would be uh, Niger. Have we got the map? Yeah. 
No, 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 no. We're talking about Algeria. 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 Can you see? Well, Algeria's here. South. No, no, no. Neptili is in Algeria. That's it, right there. Yeah, but when you see, can you see how it dips down like that? Like this. Yeah, the triangle at the bottom. That's Gap. That's the Gap symbol. Can you see it? Possessed out the south. Yeah, possessed out the south and the west. Can you see how it goes that way? These two nations. No, the line. They're on the border. Yeah, I'll break it down. That's what I'm, that's what yeah, that's the only country that does that as well. So that's spiritual. There's a reason why Algeria dips down like that. That's Naphtali, okay? Possessed out the south and the west. But yet they're still gonna say we make that up though. See that it's there. Large country in Africa, right? Yeah. yeah. Zebulon to dwell exaltedly, to live large. See that? Because remember we said Zebulon is an espionage tribe and Naphtali is what? Special messenger tribe. See that? Which goes back to emissary. So when uh, Zebulon went on the ship, Zebulon will maneuver the ship, that's travel, the with Naphtali in there. When, once they get there, right Naphtali will be the one to go and, and check time. things out quickly and bring the information. Yeah. And then Zebulon will be writing it down. And also, uh, Naphtali brings the goodly words. That's right. And Zebulon writes it down with the pen. See that? Babylon will be a good yeah. survivor as well. Yeah. Right, so uh Naphtali blessed with land from the west and the south pertaining to the land of Zebulon, which is modern day Algeria, right? Good. It says the borders of the south to the west when arriving from the east which is always the starting point, forms a Gamala symbol. True. Gamala, like that. So the Gamala is the third character in Lashwana Kadasha. For those that bothered to learn the Lashwana Kadasha. And that goes to show you, you've got to know the Lashwana Kadasha. You see that? Because how else are you going to know what Gamala means, man? You know? It says a Gamala symbol, and this is clearly seen on the Algerian portrayal of the African map. Sure. So let me do that real quick. Let me do the, let me do a demonstration of the Gamala. Can you pull out the Algerian map again? I need to draw it. He's got a white one. Is that the white one? I see it. I gave it to you. of Algeria just to show you that Gamala thing right so the land of Naphtali is tied into the land of Zebulon True. right so wait, where's that map? Oh, 
you have to be loud because it's uh yeah right so 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 the part that i've um i've hatched it goes back to gamala okay and that's what you see on that border man so that will be naphtali that will be naphtali Put the settings back on. Oh. Okay. Wait, let me see. Just double check. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. So it's gonna be two videos. Isn't it? Right. So, yeah. So that's uh, that's that's where Zebulon will be on the borders of Algeria. That's Naphtali on the south and Naphtali on the west. And that's what Moses was talking about when he said, "Possess thou the south and the west." That's right. And that, the way it shapes like that, it goes back to that symbol. But it's a Lashwana for that, which is what? Gam, Gamala, which is ca camel or bountiful. But we're going to explain why. Right, let's get to it. So, uh, now the thing. Right, so it says also Gamala means camel, which is another clue as to where Naphtali would have been stationed being the borders of what we now call the maghreb because the maghreb is where you see all the camels man you see that yeah yeah, yeah that the maghreb area, that area, that area. no 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 maghreb maghreb is next to sahel sahel yeah the sahel that's where you see all the, 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 the uh, you know the camel people the cat is sub-sahara Sub-Saharan Africa, South that's where you see the camels. Yeah, I'm thinking of, the, I'm thinking of um, Arabia and that one. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm, man. Yeah. Got, why do you always go to Arabia? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're always trying to get they're away. Go there they're always trying to get away. No, 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 the camels are there. No, no, no. The way you thought, it's okay, but it's not your fault. It's what was projected onto you by, you know, brothers or even TV. It's okay. I know what you mean. It's okay. It's all right. Right, so, <clears throat> so what is now called the Maghreb, and Maghreb means west, right? Sure. Well, there you go. It says also camels are the medium of transport in these regions as compared to horses. Some contemporary, so now we're going to do contemporaries. Some contemporary examples of Naphtilians famed for their exhibition of extreme speeds brings us to none other than Usain Bolt. That's right. Known to be the fastest man alive, he demonstrates the exact reasons for the tribe being dubbed in scripture as the choice messengers, as the nation needed men with lightning speed to deliver messages right. across the tribes. That's right. Because back then, there was no phones or Wi-Fi. There was no phones or Wi-Fi connection. Right. There was no phone, man. there was no Wi-Fi, there was no internet. So you can't take your phone <laughs> and text your mom and text your brother and say how you do it. You need that an Antillian to and also it shows you there was no such thing as cheap talk. Because now there's yeah, a lot yeah, of cheap yeah, talk. Cheap talking, yeah, yeah. Like a brother would just say hi. Like what does that mean? Like tell me something. Tell me what's popping, man. That's why they say word is bond. You know? But before word was like a covenant, when you say something. That yeah. means what he means. He means war. It's war. It's war. You don't say war and then it's not war. See? You know, like now, now, now there's a lot of cheap talk. Right. Our and yeah. the leaven of cheap talk has fallen on a lot of brothers, yeah. man. You know, like you ain't like you speak to a brother. He's not really talking about nothing. Right. right. Just wasting your time. Right. You know, messages have to be constructive, man. You know. And this is this is the understanding that a lot of brothers lack. That's why they say you ain't got no love. Because they, they want you to be on the phone with them 24-7. Just cheap talk, cheap talk. That's not our culture. We don't communicate like that. You know? Shoot that 
I'm giving some talk from a set of talking too hard that because of the level of uh, this society, society. how will a man just put to talk too much? Words. Few words. And a few words. It says the tribe being dubbed in scripture as the choice messengers as the nation needed men with lightning speed to deliver messages across the tribes because back then there was no phones or wi-fi connection so naturally was our natural way of communicating messages hence Usain Bolt being the brand ambassador for virgin telecommunication oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a reason why <laughs> Usain Bolt does the advert for for virgin so I'm saying it's spiritual man. man. See that? Because what do you need from your connection? You need speed. So it can send the messages quicker. Like when the brothers were searching for the scriptures, it was lagging. See that? You need speed, man. That to me. That's why through the spirit he chose Usain Bolt to do that. To be his brand ambassador. He's basically saying Virgin got lightning speed. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's powerful, right? Yeah, it's for man. us to see and know and link it with a new wine, man. And that's the new wine. Oh. <laughs> that's the new wine. And also quickly, yeah. you see these uh, back in time, because they didn't have the internet, they used to send like a uh, bird, all of the, you have to train them how to do it. Not a raven. I thought it was probably the one that was very good at showing them how to like, you know, it's a skill to it, isn't it? Even the little spiritual power to get the bird to get something from one point to the next point. You know, like he would do. And I thought I would bring that in. Right, uh, right, so, um, he's the brand ambassador for the Virgin's telecommunications. Sure. All right. It says another Naptilian to look at is Shakari Richardson. Okay, you know Shakari Richardson? She's, she's a female oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She even got the phenotype of a horse as well. She's oh, right. fast. No, 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 she's American. American. She got that horse phenotype yeah, as well, so yeah, that's Naphtali, man. Right, so uh, it says Shakari Richardson with evident horse phenotype. She also demonstrates such incredible sprint speed, a feat only achievable through genetic DNA and not training. Because it doesn't matter how hard you train, you can never be as fast as Naphtali, bro. Naphtali will always prevail ahead of you. That goes back to wrestle to prevail ahead right because when it says wrestle it doesn't mean wrestling down to the ground it means a contention you know because that's what wrestling goes back to contention right so it says uh training as the tribe of naphtali will always get ahead when contending against the other tribes it says all this brings us uh <clears throat> to James the Lesser, AKA son of Alpheus. Right. All right. James the Lesser. As he was from the tribe of Naphtali as well. Right. Cause how, how is Yahweh Shai gonna pick disciples from the land of Zebulon and Naphtali? And, and his disciple will not be from Zebulon or Naphtali. At least one, you know what I mean? At least he gonna pick one, you know? He's gonna pick one from the tribe of Zebulon, you know? Or from the tribe of Naphtali. And through the new wine, we found out that James the Lesser is from the tribe of Naphtali. And we're going to explain why. Sure. So, my Amar, get Matthew 10 and verses 3. Bring that and then go to the root word etymology for Alpheus. Sure. But read it first. So, yeah, man. So, we're bringing clarity, man. And that's what this is all about. Turn 3. 
we're clearing your head. And we even that know goes back to raising up the heads. We're yeah. clearing and your head. Clearing your head. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of you guys, your you mind is fog, clogged. You got brain fog, man. Brain fog. So we're clearing your fog. head up. We're clearing the living out of your head. So in shot, so in shot season, you ain't gonna say that you didn't know. Yeah. You know. Okay. All right. This is Matthew chapter ten, verses three. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the the, the publican, James. The son of Alphaeus. James the what? James, James the, the son, son of Alphaeus. Now go into Alphaeus and tell us what Alphaeus means, please. Uh -huh. Alphaeus. Alphaeus. Sounds like Alfred, didn't it? Alphaeus. Alphaeus. Okay, so the outline of biblical usage for Alphaeus or Alphaeus. Equals changing. Equals what? Changing. changing. Equals what? Changing. changing. And it also goes back to exchange as well. So it says changing, but it goes back to what? Exchange. To exchange. And that's what change can now. Okay. And le 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 yes. Wait, does it just say changing? Is there more definitions of just changing? There's more definitions for our yeah. Also, oh, so change, so it's just changing. Yeah. Now go, go to the second root word etymology. See, it says exchange. No, no, no. But it's the second root word etymology. It says, it says what? Exchange. Okay, so the outline of biblical usage for hele equals exchange. Well, hele. No, no, that's that's halapa. Kalapa. Oh, Kalapa. 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 Right, so Kalapa, Kalapa. Right, the Hebrew word for Alpheus means what? Exchange. Exchange. So we're going to ex explain how we found out James the Lesser. Because James the Lesser was lesser because what? He was the smaller or lesser in stature to what? That's for all these guys. This, that's Babylon for you, man. They love the noise. They love. That's why in the kingdom we're gonna give them hell, man. We're gonna give them hell, bro. We're gonna give them hell. They ain't never gonna have a day's peace. We're gonna disturb them. They're gonna be disturbed constantly, you know? Because it's like, it's just not noise, isn't it? Just not, it's just not organized. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so much to oh, man. <laughs> right, so, so the brother just read Matthew chapter 10, verse 3. So now we're gonna get into it. That's the final thing. Oh. Right, so it says, a precept showing James, the son of Alphaeus, of which Alphaeus means exchange. This can be spiritually linked to how the tribe performs the baton passing during the Olympic relay racing. That's the exchange. Where the batons are exchanged between runners. Okay, in regards to the sprinter. Now, now actually, and also another point I wanted to make as well. You know the two Naptilian brothers that used to be in the camp? They used to do an exchange on the camera. One used to film for, I think, an hour, and then he used to exchange with the other guy. So even they can't deny they're from the tribe of Naptilian. That's the exchange right there. See that? That's all spiritual, man. So we're not making this up. It says, this can be spiritually linked to how the tribe performs the baton changing right so in regards to the sprinter you say both a correlation can be made to a warrior chosen by the lord from the tribe of naphtali called baraqua so get judges chapter four baraqua judges chapter four let's start from verse six Yeah, Baraqua. Okay, so this is Judges chapter 4, verses 6. 
and she said, I called Barak, the son of Abidoa, out of Kadesh Dathali. Right, so, uh, so Deborah went and sent for a warrior called Barak to come and deliver the Israelites, and he came from the tribe of Naphtali. Kadesh now go, Naphtali. yeah, now go into uh, Barak, the definition for Barak. Wow. That's going to show you yeah. that the, you know, the tribe of uh, Naphtali are known for their speed. Because ah. look at the definition for Barak. So the, so the outline of biblical usage for Barak equals lightning. Equals what? Lightning. lightning. Equals what? Lightning. lightning. You see that? Or lightning, lightning. flash. Ooh. Or lightning what? Flash. Or lightning flash. Flash. But the part of the uh, flash. In the DC, it's fast. Put a flash on. Okay. Lack of speed. Yeah. That's Naphtali, bro. Naphtali, man. Yeah. See that Let's flash? Go. Yeah, they're man. They're quick on their feet, man. Flash. I mean, they're quick onto oh. a lot of other parts of the flash pit. So it says a precept showing the warrior Barak, whose name means lightning, okay? Considering how fast lightning is, this showcases the immense speed of the tribe and the intent of. Yahweh had to spread the word as quickly as possible, okay? That's why they were picked from there as well, because they wanted to spread the gospel quickly, man. Okay. As the disciples, nah, as the disciples were picked from the land of Naphtali. And this explains why Yahweh Shai had a quick but effectively short-lived ministry. Oh, that's Spanning powerful. over the course of three years. That's powerful yeah, right I there. came quick, man. That's powerful right there. what you had to do and it was That's gone. powerful right there. Yeah. That, that energy, that area had the energy of yeah, quickness. Yeah, quickness. Yeah. Bro, man. He came on the scene quick. Quick. And, he right. put it and look what he did, yeah. yeah. Oh, three years. Man. In three years, man. Look, look, look at what he did. Yeah. It says, which is the numerical total for the tribe Napatalaya? So let me let me talk let me do a quick talk on Napatalaya. Bring that, bring the bring the bottom out. So I'm going to do I'm going to do let, let, me, let me let me do Napatalaya because the numerical value for Napatalaya. Sisters that are watching, I'm gonna write it in English just for you, yeah. Now, Fata, because these niggas ain't worth shit, man. You know, hey, the ones that are down with us, you know, shalom to you. But for the most part, the brothers hate the new wine. You know, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> the brothers hate the new wine, cause, cause what? They're bitch made. That's why they hate the new wine. So for the sisters, we're gonna write it in English, you know, because we know some of you are still getting to terms with our Bagara, Awazaka, Tayakala, Manasseh, and Patazba Rashata. So Napatalaya, so na is what well, 50, right? And then pa is 60. No, pa is 80, I think. Because I is 70. Now, uh, now. Part is 80. Yeah, it is. But which map is 50? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not gonna work on that. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna work on that. I'm not gonna Because I is 70, so pi is 80. Pi is 80. And then ta is 400, right? Ta is the last character. So ta is 400. Yeah, it's 10. Yeah, it's 10. Yeah, but I haven't done lie yet. Nah, lie is 30. And then yeah is what? 10. 
So yeah, so add it all up. He's got a calculator. 18 plus, uh, you should end up with 570. Five, five, yeah, yeah. Plus, so 50 uh, plus 18. 550 yeah. plus 400. 60, that's 10. Plus 30 plus 10. That's 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 then we're going to total it again Then we're going to end up with 3 And 3 goes back to what? Ga Ma La You can't make this up You can't make this up Yeah man that, Yeah that's why in that area you got a lot of camels And also it's a prophecy of the Ishmaelite taking over that area But the Ishmaelite are the one riding on camels Damn! Damn! <laughs> Yahweh is on foot! Hey, the screw don't miss, man. And the bigger dam is gonna be when we slap you in the face, man, with chassis. True. Because a lot, a lot of you guys think we're just talking in it. And oh, they're just talking. They ain't gonna do shit. You see? That's Jake for you. They're gonna see the rap. Because you gotta understand, we're coming out with all of this. What other things do you think we know? A lot of you brothers that are playing stupid games, the most high has already shown us what's gonna happen to you. We're laughing at you, man. We just can't wait. We're patiently waiting on Yahweh Ha. Ba'ashama Yahweh Sha'ai. That's what we're doing. We're patiently waiting, man. You know, like 50 Cent said, I'll be patiently waiting for a moment to get on. You guys are gonna, you guys, especially the ones of you that are meant to be in the tabernacle, it's gonna be a rough road back, man. You know? Because what? You disrespected the Rawaha for the shark. Because even Yahweh Shai said, All manner of sin shall be forgiven. But when you blaspheme against the spirit like that, he can't forgive you for that. So don't be talking about love when your Lord and Master already warned you and said, When the Holy Spirit is in effect, keep your mouth shut. No wayward chitter chatter. Okay? And really what we're doing is love because we're telling you what's coming okay we're telling you what you're getting for christmas man you're going to get a west african ass whooping which really that's that's love man because the most high can kill you or he can destroy you in a thousand ways try try No shrimp, eating cheese every day. Bro. Right, so where's the book? Let Hello. me finish off. Right, so Judges chapter 4, it says a precept showing the warrior Barak, whose name means lightning. Considering how fast lightning is, this showcases the immense speed of the tribe and the intent of the Lord to spread the word quickly as the disciples were picked from the land of Naphtali and this explains why Yahweh Sha'ai had a quick but effectively short-lived ministry spanning over the course of three years which is the numerical total for the tribe of Naphtali as Nat is 50, Nat is 80, Dat is 400, Lat is 30, and Ya is 10. All this totals to 570. And the reason why these nations don't respect us is because you niggas are some fuck boys. That's why when they see us, they've got an image of what Jake is like in their mind. That's why normally I, I don't really, wait, you know, when a heathen is pissing me off, I don't really want to go too hard. I don't want to react because I'm looking at niggas and I'm like, fuck boy, fuck boy, fuck boy. So why should I get pissed off when a heathen is, is perceiving me as that? Because we've literally got it all to do, man. Because these guys are behaving like some tampon boys. And I can't wait for shot season because this is all the talking we're going to do. True. Because for the longest time, you guys have been out there, you know, talking about you're raising up 
the 12 tribes of Israel, talking about your prophesying to the nation of Israel. Now the Most High has sent your teachers to come and actually show you, give you clarity on things that you're clearly confused about. And the best you can do is just run your mouth. So my lad, a lot of camp, when they go out, they have those bars, don't they, with the 12 tribes? Yeah. So that means the point. Why are you having the 12 tribes board out there when you're teaching? If breaking down the 12 tribes is not important. Yeah, there you go. See, it's, it's conflicting. It's conflicting. One minute you got a board over there, but when we break down into depth, the tribes, you're saying that that's not important. Most, the most important thing is, is the tribe. I mean, most important is salvation. You know why they say yet that? You have the, the board. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't you know, you know why they say that? It goes back to that Eve from Levin. I know my tribe, so fuck everyone else. That's pretty much what they're saying. Because a lot of the guys that are fighting are from what? Benjamin and Ephraim, right? So the Benjamites, their thing is, we know what tribe we are, so we don't need anything else. That, that's basically the mindset. That's the mindset of a rotten Benjamin, okay? They've got theirs, so fuck everyone. And that's that's the kind of energy that Ephraim came with. Ephraim just came to just come and get on himself. That's why when you hear Ephraim talk, all he talks about is working on himself. When Yahweh Shai said, well, you need to deny yourself first and carry the cross. Yeah. So this ain't about you, man. This is about Yahweh Shai. Because if it was about us, we wouldn't come out here. We would just sit at home and just enjoy the new wine. That's right. That's right. So it shows you haven't denied yourself. Uh, hey, but you might not, a lot of people that think they're from uh, Banayamayana, you might not be from Banayamayana. Like that brother from Zebulun that thought that he was Banayamayana, but he's from Zebulun. So learn the tribe, it's very important for you to know, have clarity. Because what? Yahweh Shai say, that Yahweh heart say, through Yahweh Shai, that he was going to take Israel with what? With uh, what, what did he say again? Fury poured out. With fury poured out. So that means, and so imagine, think about it. When you get into the wilderness, what are you going to be learning? Are you even going to make it to the wilderness? Because a lot of you guys are going to, you're going to be uh, Babylon compost. Okay? Because the wilderness is like when you've made it out of all of this shit. Away from the pavement, the cars, the carbon monoxide, the smelly pork fats, all of this shit. That's the next step. Are you going to make it to the wilderness? Because I, 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 I certainly don't want to be dealing with people like this in the wilderness. I mean, if this is how they're going to be in the wilderness, then it's going to be, it's going to be a madness. You know? Because the wilderness people are going to be guys you know, they're Israelites. That's what it's going to be. That's why the most I put the spirit on that nigga Kanye to come out and say, you guys are the Israelite because he's using a famous respected person to put it out there. And for the most part, when you talk to Jake, they tell you they know anyway. They just want to go to the next step, which is what we're waiting for. And which is what a lot of you guys need, you know? Because Ephraim has already said he's tired of hearing people talk. So the Lord, he's, he's begging you for the action. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's begging the Most High for the action. So the Most High gonna give him the action. You know, this is what they want. Right, so uh, Gamala, although camel can also mean bountiful. So get Psalms 119.17 because Gamala can also go back to being bounty, all right? Wind uh, today. Read that. Yeah, the wind. Zebulon and Latin, you know, on the ships. Ship, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's windy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's true. So it was cold. Yeah, man. That's yeah, cool because you know, when yeah, the man. ship going, you can be cold. Yeah, yeah, man, it's cold, and now it's windy. Now it's windy. You know what I mean? So this is Psalms, chapter one hundred and nineteen, verses seventeen. And for, and for those of you that say the last one of Kodasha is not verified, because I've heard people say that before. King David done a whole prayer with the last one of Kodasha alphabets. And this is the Ga prayer, the third one. Because at the top it says Gino, right? Yeah, Which goes back to Gamala. Verse 17. Jamel. 
do bountifully, bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy words. There you go. So deal bountifully. And that gamala goes back to being bountiful. Yeah, look up the word bountiful. Bountiful. Click on it. It actually says gamala. So gamala can also mean bountiful. That's why you gotta know the last one of Kodasha, man. It's important. Because a lot of these breakdowns, you are not gonna get it. Like for instance, uh, lachama can mean bread, but it can also mean what? To fight. There you go. So if you don't understand the word, you won't know what context to use it in. Okay? Okay. So and you guys, every time you break down John 3, 16, when the Christians say, for God so loved the world, what's the first thing you say? Oh, you're taking it out of context. That's the same thing with the last one of Kadasha, man. All right? So the outline of biblical usage to deal bountifully with uh, recompense. Yeah, recompense. Yeah, but the can you see the Hebrew word there is ga and Yeah. Can you see it? It, it says there gamal. Gamal. Show it. Show it. Gamal. To the camera. Show it. Gamal. Gamala. See that? Gamala. That's it. You see it says gamala? Yeah. Gamala. Gamala. Yeah. And if you look at I'm not being disrespectful, but if you look at a lot of the people from the Maghreb, you know, they got camel face, man. No. Like, for instance, uh, DJ Khaled, right? He's from the Maghreb, right? No. He's got a camel face, man. Yeah, but those guys are originally from the Maghreb. Because you got to remember, the people in Lebanon, they're originally from Morocco. That's, that's a fake ass thing that they created. It's a mixed multitude of bastard children that were originally from the Maghreb. They created a new state, they call it Lebanon. Lebanon. So you look at a lot of these Maghreb motherfuckers, sons of bitches, sons of whores, rejected seed line that's soon to be destroyed by Yahweh Haba Shema Yahweh Shai. Okay? They got camel face phenotype. And that's not me being disrespectful, that's a fact. Because you look at um, the, uh, the prince of Saudi Arabia, he's got the camel face as well. And those are sons of Ishmael, which were originally from where? The Maghreb. The Sahel Maghreb area. The camel riders, man. Yeah. All right? Because there was an Arab girl in our school back in the days. We used to call her camel face. Oh, You know, one, one Arab girl with a big behind. And you know, the man then used to be like, yo, have you seen camel face today? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, they call you guys monkeys, so the best you can do is to, you know, profile them as well, you know. And that's in the scripture, Proverbs 26 and 4. Answer a fool according to his point. Let's see be wise in his own conceit. They call you nigger, they call you... We gotta start finding names for these guys. The Gamala people from the Maghreb. The Arabs, we gonna call them the Gamala people, okay? Right, so... Uh, where we at? Where we at with it? Yeah. So Psalms 119, uh, verse 17. It says, "Deal bountifully." All right. Outline of biblical usage shows how the Lord Yahweh Ha was only dealing expressly with Jake in that region of Naphtali. Hence, the twelve disciples being chosen from that region. You see, the Most High sent Yahweh Shai to that place because he was only dealing with the Israelites in that region. You see that? That's where he did the best works as well. That's why he said in Dal Capernaum, you know, no doubt be exalted to the heavens, thou shalt be brought down low. You see that? Yeah, man, it's spiritual. And also it goes back to how Leah told Jacob, now my husband shall dwell with me. Because everyone wants to live there now in that Algeria place. All the, all the tribes were dead. You know? Right, so it says all the tribes dwelling in that region, which were typically still labeled as being Jews, due to the spirit of Judah 
being exalted and praised son of Jacob also due to the land of Zebulon which borders certain Naphtali Wait, what the hell? also due to the land of Zebulon which borders Naphtali being defined as being exalted because remember Zebulon means exalted Judah means praised which is exalted as well that's why the Israelites that were living in the land of Zebulon were called then said the Jews among themselves whither shall he go? shall he go to the, 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 the Israelites among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? so that shows you he was living in the land of Zebulon because to go to the Greek, Greek the Grecians were what? across the Mediterranean the Christian. Christian. there you go so he was in the Maghreb all right and that's why every time he asked people where was Jesus from what did they say he was from the Mediterranean they told you they, they said it right there that's why when you go to Spain you find people with names like um, Jesus. like Jesus why because those are Israelites that what became bastard children and went over to Spain okay there was one footballer, his name was um, Jesus Navas. Yeah, Navas, yeah. And Navas, City, yeah. yeah, he played for Man City. Jesus Navas. Jesus, they don't even say J. And that shows you that the J is a corrupt thing. It's, it's silent, actually. Yeah, they say, ha, they said a J. And that Navas is actually meant to be Nawasa, which means what? To run. So he is from the tribe of Naphtali. Yeah, it was light as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that yeah, Jesus Navas guy. He's from the tribe of Naphtali, man. Because Na Navas goes back to Nawasa, which means what? To run. Let me see if I can find it. So it's all around. Hey, a lot of even Guardiola. Guardiola is what? Gawadala Allah. That's how you say it in Hebrew. The, the, the Manchester City manager, Guardiola. That's Gawadala Allah. And that means what? Uh, Gawadal means what? Soldier. And Allah means power. So soldier of the power. So these guys from uh, Spain and Portugal, they got Hebrew names, man. <laughs> You just gotta look into it, man. You know? Santi Cazola. Santi means saint. Yeah, Santi. See that? Yeah! Both foot and fell. Wonderful fell. Smooth as well. You know what I mean? So, it's all there, man. There's a lot of Israel. Uh, Lionel Messi. Where do you think? You think Lionel Messi is a, is a Edomite? He must be mad. They know Messi, Maradona, all those guys are all Israelites. All of them. Right? They're Israelites, man. Uh, yeah, I can't find it now, but when I do, I'll send it to you and you can put it in because of short time. Anyway, with that, you got brothers got any stuff you want to bring out before we go? You got anything you want to say to the church? Oh, Salaka for using my left hand.
just wanted to add, but I really want to say something about it. Say something that's powerful. You know, you say that you know the new man brings some clarity in it. The new man brings clarity to me. I need that clarity. You know, because the most time when I see that, you know, Jake is lost out here, man. The new one was like the second fold of the gospel. You know, that would make it complete. Though. When the Mosa came through with the hustle, the Ara, it showed us the basic stuff. But then the new one is coming and kind of bringing that, you know, that conclusion, you know, that finishing touch to be ready for what's coming. So, you know, for those, and there's a brother from America, Arizona, that is following us and things like that with his wife. You know, there's a, there's a sister in America that are following us and there's brothers around there. Now, they may not say nothing, but they're following. They're taking heed, man. You know what I mean? And uh, Shalom Omar to lead to the brothers and the sisters who are watching. You know what I mean? The, 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 the new wine, man. You know, it's a beautiful thing, bro. You know, I have a brother that front that said, yo, man, it's like, you look like you're bugged out now. And I'm like, no, I'm not bugged out. He made me, you know what I mean? He made me want to go back to check. I said, look, let me sit down and check it properly. I'm like, no, I'm not fucked out. Man. This thing is real. But just that some brothers can't catch it, and that's what it is. You know? and that's it. Yeah, because you know, Jake can. One thing that Jake is good at doing, they can make you doubt yourself. Yeah, yeah. You might be doing something good. Yes, you see, because even the most high, like he said, I've heard the murmurings of these people. So that means, you know, when Jake opens his mouth, that's why even Yahweh Shai said, it's not what goes into you that defiles, but it's what comes out. Because basically, Jake will say something that will fuck up your mind. See what I'm trying to say? That's what it is, man. But I have to go and, I have to go and check it again, double check it, like, nah, I'm not bugging out, man. I'm not bugging out. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. And hey, for you, you know, brothers out there that, you know, which really there's not a lot of you sincere brothers, but for the few sincere brothers out there, all right, that are following the videos, Shalom Omar to you, man. Now, you may hear me say bitch ass nigga and stuff like that. That don't apply to you. It's, it's, it's basically a situation of if the shoe fits, wear it. Okay. But, yeah, so the brothers, you know, the brothers that are out there, which really there's not a lot of you, because if you check King David, he didn't have a lot of men with him. You know, the entourage came when he became king. He only had a few select men. So we're not expecting a barrage of people to. Nah, we don't. Even the Most High, he likes to be by himself, you know. He don't like an entourage. He doesn't like leaven. You understand? That's why he gave us the feast of unleavened bread. Okay? That's why in Gideon's time, he told Gideon to shave the number down. He said, there's too many people, man. Cut that shit down. Because even this camp, it used to be big, right? We used to have like 20 guys. Sure. Yeah, we used to have about 20 men. But the most I created a situation with the lining way and other things. Shave it down, cut it down. You know? Cut it down, man. That's how he is, he's always trimming the fat. He's always trimming the fat. He's always gleaning, he's always gleaning the garden. All right? He's always gleaning it, man. So he's always checking, you know, he's always doing the dishes, basically. He's always checking the rubbish, taking the rubbish out. You know, that's that's just how the most I is. He's like an Issacharai, he's constant. He's a workman, he's constant. Just like time is a constant. Time is a constant, and that goes back to Issachar. Issachar is constant, you know? And that's how I know through the spirit, Constantine was from the tribe of what? Issachar. Because what does Constantine mean? It means to be constant, and time is constant. So that council of Nesia, I believe it happened in Africa, you know? They said it happened in Turkey. I don't think it happened in Turkey, man. That shit happened on the continent, because those Roman generals were living in the Maghreb. So Constantine, because they said Constantine was a date, right? Well, if he's a date, and also that term constant, what does it go back to? Time. Because time is a constant. Pull it up real quick. What? That's a monology. Time is a constant. Just start it, just start Time is a constant. Because time is constantly moving. And also, there was a saying back in school. It says, time wastes for no man. It's constantly going. So just because you niggas don't get the new wine, the most I ain't going to say, ah, let's, nah, we're moving on. 
And I said the same thing to the brother, you know, after, you know, we parted ways, which really, yeah, I brought him back through the second circle. We carried on, man. We didn't say, ah, oh, he's gone. Oh, you know, because originally we started the camp together, really, you know. So I'm trying to say, that was when the camp was, you know, fully built. It was, it was me and you, man. Because Yashai Yahawaha was very disruptive. He was on some bullshit, man. But we carried on building and now look at us today. Imagine I stopped when you left. What would we have? There'll be no, you see, to show. so you have to be constant. That's how Jay, hey, all these guys that are bucking up against it. Ezekiel is a sign on to you. You guys are gonna come back all bowed down. Okay? But the only difference is the way and manner in which you're behaving now, you're making your case worse for your, for your, uh, your second coming. It's not gonna be peaceful. It's gonna be counseling after counseling. A lot of brothers don't like counseling anyway. But they used to hate me for that. They're like, yeah, these brothers love to call counsel, counseling. But you're gonna have a lot of people. It's good, counseling, counseling, counseling is good. Man. Counseling is good. Right. We put everything in order, man. They think they're gonna be cured. It, it, it takes spirit. away the bullshit. Whether you like it or not. They think gonna... they're gonna be cured with spiritual power. Oh, I just wanna get power. You ain't getting shit. All of you guys that are talking about spirit, you are not getting no spiritual power. Yeah, you're gonna be order. under gonna the be? order. You can't even tie your own shoelaces and you're talking about spiritual power. Give me a break, man. Bro, you, well, can't, you, can't you guys, you guys, you guys are, you guys are stupid. You know, you think the Most High, you're already rebelling. You're already being a bitch ass nigga. Now the Most High will now come and give you power to become a bigger bitch ass nigga. Yeah, it's just like this. The Most High don't work yeah, like that, man. Like Go be in it. order. Yeah, that's your money reveals who you Time are, is isn't a it? Yeah. You know what I mean? If you were yeah, uh, wicked, uh, money will make you more wicked, yeah, isn't it? Man. So it's the same thing. If you come so out of order, when you get the spiritual power, it's, it's, that thing going to be an enemy to you, onto yourself. It's going to work against you. It's not going to be good for you. You're going to show your respect now, but you're going to show respect in the time to... Oh yeah, of course. There you go. You guys are not getting the law. None of you guys are getting spiritual power. I'm, I'm just telling, uh, what's that thing? Spoiler alert. You guys are not getting no spiritual power. You go first, learn Abagara, Awazaha, Tayakala. You need to get in line, okay? You need to come under the order. So forget about spiritual power, man. That's, you know, they watch too much cartoons, man. You guys are watching too much cartoons. They don't show me respect. None of you guys, you, 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 go, you, go, you go, go through the ranks before you get to that level. You guys are bucking up against the baby stuff. And you're talking about spiritual power and laying evens down. Where did you learn that from? That's not how things work. Okay. But anyway, that we're gonna face the east. We're gonna close out. Right there. Straight ahead. Allah, 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 Allah. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Ba'ashama, Ba'ashama. Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Shai. Raka Ata, Raka Ata. Ba'am, Ya'shara, Allah. Come on, come on.